Hey everyone, I hope you all have been doing well and you're excited to play on the new patch today. I missed a couple of daily uploads this week and I'm really sorry for that. I've just not really been enjoying this meta and I just ended up taking some time away from the game. Be with family and stuff and just kind of like um, regain <laughs> so I can be more positive. Also someone mentioned that I should make a patch rundown video. But I ended up being quite busy today and I didn't really know how beneficial it would be to you guys to have like a really late video when you guys are basically like already going to have seen other people go over it and stuff and probably went over it yourselves. And also, um, although when I first saw it I was kind of happy, I slowly started to realize like what they didn't do and um, I didn't really want to be like a buzzkill and complain to you guys and stuff. So I'm choosing to be positive and I just hope all goes well and we have a lot of fun this new patch. Like, although the nerfs didn't really cater to my preferences as a player, a bunch of cards that weren't played got buffed, and so it's going to be super exciting to try those things out, and I'm going to be able to make some pretty cool videos, I think, in the near future. I think my favorites that I'm looking forward to trying out first are Mono Shurima, maybe with Zerath because he got buffed specifically, and I also want to try to make Kindred work, maybe with Viego or something, I'm not sure yet. As for today though, I wanted to try out a deck that Ruben Zoo recently got top 10 with in Masters, and that's this ARAM control or Howling Abyss control. I guess <laughs> if you don't play League, you probably don't know why this is called ARAM, I guess. But in League, the actual like art of this card, like you actually get to play on that like arena and it's called Howling Abyss. But people named it ARAM as basically all random, all mid, because you all choose random champions and you're basically all in the mid lane because it's just one lane. So it's a really fun card, but it's pretty hard to make work competitively. And so when I heard Ruben Zoo got top 10 with it in Masters, that like super piqued my interest, obviously. Because it's such a cool card as an idea to just every turn start getting level 2 champions. And also they're trying to help Control be better this patch. And so even though Control isn't my most familiar archetype, I thought it would be interesting to see how good it could do right now. Because it should do even better like when the new patch comes out because Vengeance is being buffed from 7 mana to 6. And this deck runs 3 of them. But honestly I don't think I need to go over this deck too long. The main thing is that this deck basically runs no units. It just runs like every single Control 2 in the game it feels like. <laughs> So his version actually runs Elise, so when you attack with Elise it can give you a Spiderling and it kind of makes sense as an early unit, but I noticed that a lot of the time um, from like watching him a little bit and playing myself, you end up sending Elise in to attack trying to get that Spiderling and then your Elise can sometimes die or the spider just dies and then it's like it just felt kind of weird and so I honestly felt like Hapless Aristocrat would make a bit more sense. It also allows you to like use an Ice Shard or Avalanche or Ravine and then still keep a blocker afterwards. So I kind of like it. It's also cheaper and every single mana kind of counts in this deck because control is not that good right now and I feel like you want to make sure you have access to every mana you can. And so personally I was liking Hapless Aristocrat but yeah he did use a lease in case you want to like do what he was doing. Which honestly is probably correct because I mean again he got top 10 within Masters and I didn't so but yeah just, this is just my idea and you can do with that what you will. Yeah, so it does kind of feel wrong that like, there's no champions in the deck, but again, just from what I've seen and from playing, Elise was never really that good, and I do feel like the Hapless Aristocrat in this specific deck was just enough. Then you run Kindly Tavern Keeper, just a good unit that heals you, and this deck is again all control and all, a bunch of healing tools. And then the other unit you run is just Command Ledros. <laughs> so it's literally just either Hapless or Elise, Kindly Tavern Keeper, and then Commander Ledros. And then the rest is like, again, like I said earlier, every single control card in the game basically. Three Gohards, three Vile Feast. The other difference is that he actually had two, three sisters and then one Flash Freeze. And yeah, the versatility from the three sisters could be really important. But just from my testing, it just, you almost never use anything else other than the Freeze. And so you just end up having to spend one more mana. And again, all these little points of mana really do count, I feel like, in control decks. And there's just a lot of situations where you're not going to be able to spend that extra mana. And so I figured you might as well just run what you're actually probably going to use in the meta right now against like Rumbles or like Pantheon decks and stuff like that. Even Ari. So I run the one Ice Shard, which I've seen him kind of pop in and out of the deck. I don't know if he's still running Ice Shard, but it's really good against like those Ari and Kennen decks. I think that's the best deck in the game right now. And so I really want to make sure that I can beat that when I play against it because it's really tilting to me when I lose with that deck. But yeah, you see I have Ice Shard as a board clear, but you also have Whales, which are usually enough. And then you have Avalanches and Ravines. You have so many different board wipes, and technically Box can be a board wipe if they play a lot in one turn. Then you run three Vengeances like I mentioned earlier, and two Ruinations. And one of the really cool things about this deck and how it's able to like work is because of Catalog of Regrets. But what it does is that on round start, you create in hand a fleeting copy of a non-fleeting spell you cast last round. 
and so this is ends up being really crazy so against decks where you really want to avalanche you end up duplicating an avalanche the next turn you can also copy healing spells like withering will vile feasts go hards by the way when you copy a go hard because you only need to play three and then the last one turns into pack your bags but the way it works with catalog is that once you use one the next turn you'll get a fleeting copy of it and so you can use that and that counts as two now because that second one is fleeting it won't actually duplicate again because of catalog of regrets but if you then have another real one then you play the other real one as well in the same turn and then the next turn you get the pack your bags so you only have to play two legit gohards if you have catalog of regrets on the field to get the pack your bags and then it's just so insane because then you have a board wipe that deals a bunch of damage even to their nexus so this catalog card can kind of lose you a bit of tempo it's kind of how landmarks are in general spending unit mana and a lot of it you don't really get to do much that turn usually if you're going to play catalog of regrets you're going to want to make sure you have a vile feast or like go hard maybe an ice shard something to get like value out of it on the turn you play it preferably so you don't like totally waste your turn and howling abyss is sort of similar where it's a lot of mana to just kind of do nothing on that turn but because of all your control tools you're usually setting yourself in a position where you can afford to play abyss one turn and not just totally die because you have a lot of different options next turn but yeah try not to play this unless you have a pretty decent answer to the next attack so if you've already wiped a lot of their board let's say and they're only like stuck with like one unit and you have a vengeance in your hand you can probably afford to play howling abyss on your turn and then next turn if they open attack with whatever unit they have you can just vengeance and answer it properly or if you're against a deck with a lot of one drops maybe you can afford to play howling abyss because you have a whale in your hand and so you know that next turn even though you're kind of wasting this turn if they do an attack next turn you have a good answer to it try not to be too greedy by playing this and just wasting your turn and then getting shit on the next turn basically <laughs> And one of the things that can kind of help into Howling Abyss is having Catalyst of Aeons because it will heal you and then give you an empty mana crystal. You can kind of ramp into things like Howling Abyss and your Ledros and stuff like that. The other card that his version was running that you might want to consider is Atrocity. So I felt like Atrocity was really bad a lot of the time. If you ever draw it before like turn 10 or something, it just always bricked. And it seemed only really good if you paired it with Ledros or like maybe some champions with a Howling Abyss. It definitely makes sense to have as a one of in the deck. But just for my little bit of playtesting, I was just always drawing it early and it just always felt bad. It would just sit in your hand dead until like turn 20 or something. <laughs> and I just, I don't know, I just felt like it was just kind of pointless and I'd rather something else. But again, it definitely does make sense as like one of your game enders. If you draw it late, when you are able to play Ledros, it can just win you the game. Or same with some champions that you're going to get. Yeah, as far as my thoughts go about this deck, I really don't understand how we got top 10 with this in Masters. I could just suck with control decks, like I don't really play them that much. But this deck did not feel super great to me. It was a pretty fun deck. Like having the Howling Abyss is like one of the best feelings in the game, just constantly like waiting to see what champion you're gonna get next. And Catalog of Regrets basically gives you infinite value with all your spells, like it's actually crazy. And I do think that basically, I guess today when you're watching this, since Vengeance will be actually buffed to six mana, it, that'll actually make a big difference I think. Especially when you're like, duplicating copies of it with the Catalog. Also, since Trundle's actually getting buffed, so a long time ago Trundle used to have 4-6 um, stats. He was actually like so dominant that they had to nerf him. And basically today they're reverting him. I was thinking that maybe this deck would be a little bit better if you were to like add in some Trundles, maybe add another Catalyst of Aeons. I mean at that point you should probably just play Field of Rush, honestly, but yeah, this is an idea I had if you did want to try to make this deck work in the new patch. Yeah, it probably is still worth trying out if you like control. I mean, technically, if you're cracked enough as Ruben with this deck, then you should be able to get top 10 masters, theoretically. Yeah, anyways, that's about it. I'm really excited to start making videos in the near future about all these new buff champions like Xerath and Kindred. also really like the idea of Ash, and it'd be really cool if she was good again now after the buff. So yeah, if you want to see those videos that are going to be coming out soon, you could subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Maybe even like the video. It would help me out a lot. And as always, if you want to see me play anything in the near future, you can leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your guys' ideas about the patch and like what crazy ideas you guys had. Yeah, anyways, I hope you like it. Thanks. Draven. Rumble. What the hell? Okay, I like that. Don't like that. Mm -hmm. This can potentially be good. I um, mean, we only run one of, so you're kind of allowed to keep it sometimes in the mulligan. But I kind of wanted to get something, like, have better chances for, like, Aptalus, Vile Feast. 
catalog will be good. I guess, by the way, you're, I don't know why I passed, but like you're technically supposed to do it right away. Because if you somehow had like Poro Cannon into um, that, like, uh, what's it called? Reborn Grenadier, then we'd only be able to stop, we'd only be able to stop one, uh, one of them from attacking. I, have the best job. I don't care about just that, right? I always just block it. If he plays Rumble, we're gonna ping the spell shield off. We're gonna ping spell shield off, block with both spiders, and then hit him with the ravine, which will kill that and make the other one weak. Locked and loaded. All going according to plan. Never mind. Never mind, because you just drag one. It's fine. We, this heals us up anyways, right? Yeah, yeah, it heals us. We're chilling. We're just taking a measly 7 damage. We're not even worried about it. Bye, Draven. Can we soft pass like this? Because we're going to play another ravine. We want him to play something, though. Preferably not that. <laughs> At least we kill Rumble. Bye Rumble. There's nothing you can do about it. Another one? Well, now I can just block this and this. Do you feel like a silly goose right now? Hey, yeah, he feels like a silly goose. Oh no! Oh no, the Poros! Is he afraid of Avalanche? <laughs> like, imagine this Avalanche would be so good right now. He's so good. Time for the money makers. Axis coming right up. I mean, if I'm basically taking three, oh, I think it's still correct to do this. We are taking a tad bit of damage. I think we banked the man. No, we're losing one mana, right? And that could matter. The issue is that I want to be able to develop next turn and bait him to play more cards before I ravine. Oh, maybe I do that? I hope I don't regret it next turn. Like, I don't know what I could draw that would make me regret that. But I want to be able to do this and still ravine. Because I give him an action to play something. I might just play that. Oh.
Maybe I should have let him play that. He probably would have too, this turn. It's it's just like, he might have just passed though, that's the thing. Because if, like, if he plays this though, then we could have ravined it. And then when he attacks next turn, or gets rid of this to do that, we just bile feast it. Now this won't be weak. And this will be. So if he like, does it, something to this, then he can um, get a free attack in. I don't think I really care about that though. No. Yeah, he would have for sure played that. Maybe this turn. Oh, he still does? Okay. I guess I will never understand his mysterious ways. do this. I'm down to kill this thing. I don't think he expected that. And we don't get killed by that. Unless he has um survival skills, which I don't think he does. And then we take two. This way we got a bit greedy without using the avalanche, but I think that's fine. That's because we're just gonna do this. I think we can, maybe we play this and I was thinking maybe we play this and bait him into doing something. But this way it leaves up Avalanche in case he goes like really wide this turn and we need it. I feel pretty silly if I want to Avalanche but can't. But yeah, see he might not have done that play. Like if I play Aristocrat, he might just play another like two drop or something like that. And then, I mean it's low odds, right? He already has to block with that. Which means my avalanche will kill it. I can do it again. But he can basically just keep playing this card too. So it's like... Who's the real winner, you know? Oh, there we go. This is the infinite value we need. In case he does some like weird burst speed summons, I think. Like as of right now, he's not getting any damage in. We can start pumping out some champions. Let's go. Oh, this is his attack? Just too lit. If we do this. Oh, I kind of get rid of more blockers. But like this way, our avalanche kind of is sh scarier. Whereas if we block with this, then we could avalanche and still have a one drop after that. Which I kind of like the idea of. That's a little bit scary. Not really. Wait, wait, wait. If we just play Ledros, he have, and he doesn't have a way to summon that this turn, we just win. Try for that. I really want to play this though. But like, this seems weaker. Like, look, he can't play that. Yeah. Like, what do you do? <laughs> like, I really wanted to play this, but <laughs> I just I figured that was just like a win. Let's go. That was uh, <laughs> these games take uh, quite a long time. Even against a, a deck like that. They're pretty interesting and probably very annoying to the opponent. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, it's actually scary. Are they splashing like Ranger's Resolve? Or just Rally? Kinda like all of this. Got some healing, got a blocker. We got some board wipes. Where are you? 
This is free damage. I don't think he ever wants to block this. Obviously. Oh no. Okay. I swear we always draw Ledros on this turn. Let me block this. I think we block. Okay, wasting, not wasting a recall. We play something else. Not that. Okay, it is what it is. The avalanche, you can't um, notify that. So you can protect like one thing, hopefully. You can also kill that blocker, but it was gonna die anyways, right? Ooh, true. Okay, we got rid of twin though. Not going to our face anymore. Also, that was dying anyway, so I don't think it actually mattered at all. I have to heal up right now because I'm probably gonna ravine next turn. Um, we could also just go for like the catalog. I think we attack. Might make him want to like recall something again, like bait him. Okay, free damage. Okay, I don't think I can, um, I don't want to ravine that yet. I don't really want to catalog and let him develop a full turn. Time for a leap of faith. Let's see what he does. Just avalanche again. If you can fight, show me. I've got meat bigger than you. Then I'm going to play catalog so I get another um, avalanche next turn. This will be pretty good, I think. Ooh, deny. Okay, that's actually fine, right? Because now he gets an action, he might do something else again. Then we play Ravine. Okay, he's not. That sucks. But he probably wants to replay a cannon, but he won't want to do it this turn. Okay, he's homecoming that. But it didn't matter, right? Because we didn't actually cast a spell that turn. Shouldn't you just, I don't know, I guess it doesn't really matter. The order rewards its faithful. I'm probably wailing this turn. I will play my part. Really? I guess not. I'll play this and I'm down to ravine this turn. Okay. So I would if I just do this. What is wrong with this play? He doesn't have a den deny anymore, right? He's down to... Oh, he has another deny. Okay. It's funny, I could actually freeze and get 9 attack in. Damn, we actually could've won this round. Like, if he didn't have a deny there... Oh, he would've stunned it anyways. Oh, if now we get some go-hards, finally. Now you will see my final move. 
Bro, I think we're gonna go hard the cannon. Then we can whale this and the cannon. Um, block that, hit him with the whale, I think he actually wants to stun this so I don't actually get to kill that. I think I should whale again, I technically do kill that then now. I don't want him to get this recall. He's kind of running out of cards. Okay. Yeah, what is he doing? You can tag it up again, but you could making make it at two health, and then like maybe I oh, can't. I was say maybe he like cannons it. I can just attack and make him have to use a cannon to block. Yeah, yeah. He says, I mean, I didn't want to freeze this and go for the attack because he might have something like that. So, um, I think I go for a ravine. Because I think this buff will go away at the end of the round. Yeah, so these will die. I think. Cannon's dead, that's dead. He did draw two though, which is kind of annoying. He's drawing more. I think I'm down to this pass. It's not even leveled up yet. This is fine. Ooh, purifies it. Is that, is that permanently? It's permanent silence. Okay. Interesting. Should I like freeze that then? It's like my plan was to like freeze it something and then do like a possibly do a fearsome attack. Maybe I freeze that and get to, and I kill that so he doesn't get to recall it again. I, yeah, so I kill that. I don't want him to get more draw. Sign it. Might as well just heal. There we go, finally. Finally. The dark beckons. I want to play like one more thing and I'll probably go for the ravine. Okay. Let's see what he does. I will play my part. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's fine. I don't think I'm too worried.
He gets a, he gets a dragon if he wants. Oh, it's actually my attack, huh? Okay, that is actually kind of scary. Ivana. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have used that catalyst, and I should have used Ravine so I can use an ice shard this turn. And I could just let that go through. Like, what what is the harm in that? I guess rally is annoying. I guess I just let it. Like I'm, Rally is the only scare card I think. He's only what used two denies. For him, to, if he wanted to rally, he wouldn't be able to um play every card. Actually, he does recall these, huh? And they become cheaper. I mean, but if he went to redo another, like if he were to replay stuff, and then do a rally. We can like ice shard or vile. We're gonna get another copy of that healing next turn. Unless we have to use one of these this turn because of a rally. You can't rally now, right? Yeah, he has no man. I think it is uh, ice shard. No, I don't like that. I might want the healing. I can probably just um ravine. Oh, Zoe? Oh, it doesn't even work. It would never strike because of elusive. If I just do this attack, and I get this like strike spell for Ari. I don't think you will. I just try to kill that first. I had to use all these spells to protect everything else instead of Azari. Here's another one. That's funny. I mean, we do have a blocker, and we do have Zoe. As an elusive blocker. I'm kind of scared of this turn for him. Although he probably doesn't have a deny. So we can just survive this attack. Oh, we don't have any like burst speed stuff though. We might not be able to like pass. So if he does attacks right here, right? He does, um, he does what? Nine damage. You can block one. He's starting 12 damage right now, but we can block two things. I don't think we die. Now it's threatening more. We do have an elusive, right? He's only threatening like nine damage. But if he has a twin, how many twins has he played? He's used two twins already. What are the odds he has twin again? Guess we'll see. Okay. I think now we go for it. Let's go. 
I don't think we die this turn now. I'd be really surprised if we do. He probably has some units to still play. Yeah, like that's kind of scary. But he should, I don't think he should be able to like, kill me this turn. With just two more mana. Yeah, that's fine. We gotta have a lot of his units, and I don't know if they even run that many units. Do they? I don't know. I think Echo's a good um, card. He's already used like two stuns, I think. This gets a strike off. There's always a way out. We can get a free time trick. You call that sneaky. No, please. I kind of want to avalanche so we get another one next turn, but like the ravine's only going to be useful if we use it this turn. That might make him have to develop next turn. Bye. You need like an elusive champion. <laughs> oh, that healing is not bad. We do have the av avalanche. It doesn't work because I don't think he's. I don't think he has more units. I think I killed so many. Like he might literally just have spells. <laughs> this game is so silly. We can play a Vi. Okay. I think I have like Kindred actually. Never I can like slay some things. Like I can slay these things. If he attacks right now, I'm never dead, is he? Am I? I can block these. Maybe I should have went for the Avalanche. But I was like, if he have like, I only have one unit blocking. I was kind of scared that like I would go to Avalanche, he'd have like twin or something. I think we just survived. I think we just outvalued him. He does have the last twin. And he kills everything. But doesn't like do anything. I guess that gives him another stun. But yeah, we should have avalanche then. No, he would have used twin defensively, but then yeah, he wouldn't be able to um Oh we just do it now. Is there any more protection? Well, unless he has another Ari. Which he could, because he's drawn so much. Oh, we get another avalanche, true. He's out of cards! He drew too much! I didn't notice that! <laughs> he decked himself out. That's why he gave me the sub for <laughs> This deck creates too much value. And too much board wipes for them. That's funny. Zoe Asol. Okay, I hope they have Targon's Peak and they just like reduce all my OP cards. And so every turn I get like a zero cost champion. Agree? This is a slow deck. I might keep this for Zoe. We kick everything else. And we look for like our uh, Howling Abyss. Shit. Oh, imagine he plays Zoe. He does. He does. Watch the, watch the surrender. Watch the surrender. Damn it, no surrender. <laughs> please be a Targon's Peak deck, please. I need Howling, I need Howling Abyss. I want to think I want to get these out of my hand so like these can't be reduced in cost. Right? How about the 
They got free damage, and you can probably heal it. Oh shit! Oh no! He can destroy landmarks. He he can probably destroy my uh, Howling Abyss. I need multiple. Nah, he probably wouldn't take that. He'd probably take a dragon or something. I agree. It's time. You're never getting. You're never fucking reducing this in cost. I don't want you to reduce this in cost either. Hey, he's gonna reduce one of these in cost. Agree. Fuck. Why? Any one of these would have been lit. Come on, man. Okay, he's gonna play Aesol, thinking he's all cool. Like, huh, I got Aesol. Reduced in cost. He has to play, right? Isn't it only one turn? It's only this round. So he, okay, okay. What? Hey, give me this finally. Fuck, man. <laughs> what is this matchup? Oh no. Well, he actually paid for that. Welcome to the tipsy hour. It's okay. It's okay. He was waiting. He's trying to bait me. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, maybe I should use this, because I can like freeze that next turn, right? Well, I get the freeze back anyways next turn. Actually, I might get Ruination back. Because of these. Actually, I get... I have two chances, right? <laughs> Bro, stop giving me these. Why did you give me both Renation? Okay, we'll just use this. Damn it. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? It's okay. So like, we have zero mana vengeance. So, if he ever does like some silly shit like Feel Rush again, we Avalanche here with a Spell Shield, and we Vengeance. Right? <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> this is so dumb. Where's my Howling Abyss? I want free champions every turn. Also, do they both give the same spell or has it just been like unlucky both these times? Actually, I don't know if the last one I only played one spell. I don't remember. Wait, 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 wait. So he just has a freeze, I guess? A stun? Okay. Sure. Damn it. Oh no, he's smart. He played around my vengeances. What do I do now? I guess I should have go hearted. I can't, I could have go hard on my own unit. Then this turn I guarantee get both. Yeah, yeah, so this turn I would get play both. And then if I draw one... Man, that's fine. That was zero mana.
Can I just... <laughs> no! I would like to retract my gohard, please. Wait, 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 <laughs> this is... No, 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 fuck, I shouldn't have hovered that. He probably knows what it is. He 100% knows what it is, shit. Okay. Boom. Oh no, I'm scared because he, I don't think he played a zero mana card yet, did he? No. Please don't. Oh my god, what? What was it? Give me, give me, oh, it already reduces this. It doesn't reduce the cost of your champions? Unlucky. It makes time. Bye, Zoe. Goodbye. <laughs> no. Oh, it's all you can play. I'm gonna block it, right? Because, like... Maybe not, actually. If we just take it and we heal, like we, like we wail, we heal when we take, like... We're still at, like, 13. And then, yeah, we could, like, Jarvan it and just have the kill with, with um, Riven. So that's kind of troll. It. Yeah, I should have just took it. I should have just took it. We'd have lethal. I mean, he probably has a way to stop it, but we'd have like we'd be threatening lethal. This is like threatening to kill the Aesol, though. Yeah, we'd be threatening lethal right here. I think, right? So we would have got a, would have got a random um plus attack thing. Technically not. We'd get like one. We'd get like one thing. I mean, we can challenge it next turn, right? Because of how Jarvan works. <laughs> Game is so silly. <laughs> Guess we're just using our cards. It's free, might as well. Yeah, we should take the damage. Like, we would already heal the back up. Or even would have threatened lethal, he wouldn't be able to just do that stun and get away with it. Again, actually, we don't technically threaten lethal, but we'd have like he'd be like one health, or we or we could have if we got the right um, token from Riven. If he doesn't open attack, if he open attacks, it dies. If he doesn't open attack, we challenge it and it dies. He doesn't have many champions in the deck, right? And like, or units. And uh, we gotta get rid of one Aesol, we got rid of three Zoe's. <laughs> wait, 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 another Sky's Descend from early until will be pretty scary. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, that's what I was, that's what I was talking about, that's annoying. That's cringe even. Agree? No hush.
Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, he doesn't attack with that? Shit. <laughs> Can we could kill this ace off. Wait, can we actually kill it? If we do this, we get rid of this, right? And then we avalanche. We just we just box and wail. A box, and then we wail. And then we um we can try to kill the ace next turn with our open attack from Jarvan. <laughs> that doesn't level up. No quarter. <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh, it doesn't actually challenge again, I forgot. You gotta do this. No more freezes or stuns, please. Bro, wait. I need another Howling Abyss. Wait, does he just let it go down? Or he has to click again? Honestly, Jarvan is like one of the best ones for like valuing. Bruh. Wait, that only heals four. Is it still dead? <laughs> Wait, what? Something's wrong. <laughs> Wait, can we win here? <laughs> he didn't. He didn't heal his face. I don't think he has that many units. I mean, he was getting a lot of units for, well, Ace Souls up there, right? Or like a lot of, like, Celestials. How many did he use? Yeah, okay, that's scary. If we go for this, we get down down to one. But if we don't, I guess we just do this. And if he doesn't open attack, then we can challenge it with the Jarvan. Actually, let me just attack, right? Because he has to block this and he dies. Actually, we probably would just rather wait until next turn. I don't know if that's the right play, because now, like, we for sure, um... Fuck. Okay. <laughs> I wish it was zero mana, but it wouldn't actually wouldn't matter if <laughs> it's our whole turn. And now we get like another two ruinations. For some reason, it didn't. Uh... <laughs> Please give me Howling Abyss. <laughs> if only I could go face. He only has one Ace Hole left, right? <laughs> oh no. If he plays Aso, that doesn't matter, right? <laughs> what is happening? Okay, thank you. Thank you. We can do everything. Because the only thing he has like left in his de like, 
is like that. Like, what does that do? Wait. You've actually paid for that, so he could have an ace hole in his hand. I think I do this. Oh, no, he's a little, oh, it gets obliterated. No, I choked. I gotta wait till after it works, then then I, then I vile feast it. No, because then, yeah, I could do that in my action. Shit. Oh, if he just open attacks like that, I just I'm um, vengeance it. But if it's ace hole, I'd rather. Yeah, if it's ace hole like that. Damn, I choked. I choked. I could have done it properly and then had a blocker for this as well and not take the 10 damage. Damn it. I'm so bad. I'm just doing it too fast. No. But he's like, he's gotta be like out of units soon, right? Also, we're gonna get another vengeance next turn because of these. Wait, we didn't get a vengeance. We got a fucking this thing. I am lightning. I break the wind. Wait, Ice Shard wins, right? What could he have to stop this? <laughs> <laughs> this is the dumbest matchup I think I've ever played in my life. What in the hell was that? <laughs> what the fuck? That was so dumb. <laughs>